And we're back. That's right, we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 4, the fourth ignition. I'm your host, the RPG guy. And let's get moving. Because we're not going to save Felgaia sitting around and doing nothing. Darn. They would have wanted me to probably jump the other way to get the big bag. But you know what? We're not hurting for cash, so... I'm really reluctant to care. Accelerator! Accelerate! Running, 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 running. Kill. It's nothing to be concerned about. What do you mean, nothing to be concerned about? This isn't the first time it's happened either. Are you injured or sick? No, it's not an injury nor an illness either. It was just over 10 years ago. I suffered an incurable wound right here at this very place. It was be the beginning of the end for me. <clears throat> incurable wound, the beginning of the end, huh? When the train went over that cliff, it led us directly to an underground ruins of a city. A city that was buried, never to be seen or spoken of again. Arnaud, do you know where we are? No, I can't say that I do. I thought he was supposed to be smart. Of course you don't. The events which took place here were buried along with its very name. This is Verklarung, a city whose existence was erased by a sudden catastrophe. This is my hometown. Yeah, she didn't mention this before. I thought this dude was supposed to have razor sharp wits. Razor sharp asshole. Alright. That's really tragic, but rather than dwell on the past, we should think about what to do now. Raquel, don't you have any medicine or something? Unfortunately, there is nothing modern medicine could do for this broken body of mine. Are you serious? I'm sure it's difficult for you to believe me, but if you saw the body that's hidden beneath this coat, you'd have no choice but to do so. Just a minute, I'll show it to you. Whoa! No, stop, you don't have to. I don't need to see because I believe you, because you're, you you confided in me. I don't have too much time left. I'll never grow up to become an adult or grow old. When you said you wanted to see all the beauty that remains of Vagaya, is this why? I wanted to forget the terrible memories I had of the city and its people. So I sent out in search of beautiful things. <clears throat> I didn't want to fall into despair. I wanted to believe there was still some light left in this world. When we first met and you told us about the purpose of your journey, I didn't, I didn't understand at all. Now, everyone seems to be carrying all these burdens. Not just you, but Jude and Yuli, too. By comparison, I must look like a complete asshole that's self-absorbed and kind of full of shit, traveling around with no good reason. I just added that myself. Do you need a reason to travel? <clears throat> if you don't have a reason, then perhaps you just need to find one. What's wrong with a journey where you find your own reason somewhere along the way? I'm going to assume she just looks like Vash the Stampede under all that clothing. Here, have some. It'll warm you up, but no guarantees on how it'll taste. Mmm, it's good. Really? Yeah, can I have seconds? This is kind of nice. Aww. Uh, he's trying to, to make her feel better. If I use this. Okay, so we've got a couple items here. But we have explosive boxes this time around. Uh. Let's see. I believe we gotta do this. Reveals that. We'll come this way. I believe this is going to be like the teleport from Wild Arms 1. Yep. Memory still works. The old noodle still works, y'all. Okay, and we're going to drop this here. And we've got ourselves this goodie. 
this goodie here. Okay, so let's do this this way. And then I want to do this one. I believe that should do it. too much get up there asshole go. there we go there we go so we're running into this again let's grab the explosives boom shakalaka Oh boy. Um, let's think this through here. New tool. Simple enough, right? And it's like pretty beat up too. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> some heel berries, the dragon fossil. Something I'm reluctant to just start spending right at this moment. I actually have an idea of where I might want to start investing some of that stuff, too. I'm not going to do it yet, but I have some ideas. It's not that recover since we saw it. We got that and chained it. <laughs> like I said, there's no point in trying to get too crazy with any of that. You just you do the best you can, you know. Just a little bit of cash. Woo. Oh, wow, my jumping ability is kind of sucking right now. No, not quite. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna uh. cry. Okay. <laughs> we'll always uh, be happy to fall down for Mega Berries. The, the giveaway is for anybody wondering, like, why would you think that there's anything there is because there's a ledge and a means to wedge your way down between the two, you know, between the two, the wall and the platform. That's really the only giveaway that they actually have, which I think is technically enough, but eh. I know somebody somewhere is like, there's not a lot of info, bro. Accelerator! I would just, I would respectfully disagree. I think it's just enough. But that's, again, that's just me. Are you feeling any better? I think the worst is over. I can move now. Don't push yourself. Sometimes you have no choice. Well, when those times come... <clears throat> is someone there? Jude! Arnaud, Raquel, you're alright. <clears throat> Jude, are you alone? Yeah. Oh. 
Say, Jude, where? Uh, say, Jude, were you the one who treated our injuries? Nope. This is the first I've seen you. And when I woke up, someone had already taken care of me as well. Then, yeah, maybe it was gone. Anyway, we're glad to see you're okay. Come on over and have something to eat. Okay. He gets food poisoning and can't stop himself from violently pooping. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. We can't stay here for very long, though. I'm worried about Yuli. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's there. It doesn't seem like there are monsters around here, but still, it's almost too quiet. We need to hurry and rejoin Yuli. Hey, about what I said earlier. <clears throat> yeah, it's up to you whether you you want to say anything to the others or not. I don't really like talking about myself. I prefer you keep, to keep it a secret. Someday you should tell them yourself. If that someday comes, I will. You know Arnaud's gonna spill the beans because he's a fucking dipshit. I mean, who's he trying to fucking fool? <gasps> Alright, so let's keep moving. So, and we'll make a save because, you know, as you per usual, saving is your friend. But we can modify. Let's modify our... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need you. <laughs> We'll do it. We'll do it soon, because I've been holding... I've got a, probably a handful of, uh... Fall... Uh... Yeah, dragon fall. we got four dragon fossils. We could put a bunch of it... Probably in ensuring that the weapon does not fail. Because that just fucks up your strategy. For better... You know, for lack of a better term. It's a straight-up F you to your strategy that you may or may not have. In my opinion. So it makes sense to me... It makes complete sense to me to um, invest in those areas. Now, you can invest in any areas you technically want, and there's probably no truly wrong answer, but we'll, we'll talk more about that once we get there. Did I just blow myself up? Okay. I did, but it didn't me didn't matter. Now, for those of you wondering, there are hidden red chests in the game, one of them I know, I remember, is like in this room. It's where I pretty much blew that other thing up. But we can't get it. We can't collect it. As you can clearly see. Because, and I don't know why I brought the staff with me down there. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't collect it unless you have a Wild Arms Alter Coat F save. 90% of the time it's yellow, but this one is actually a Familiar Tales book. Um, and I'm not gonna ruin what that is. Um, and like I said, maybe sometime I'll play this game, revisit this game, and do a whole brand new Let's Play. Maybe with the Alter Code F chest, but most people, I've, I've learned a lot of you guys like to use this game, my, you know, my playthrough as kind of like a guide. And I would feel honestly pretty bad if you wanted to use this as a guide, but then you didn't have access to those chests. And I also want to show that I'm not using those chests as a crutch, you know? And I know that sounds weird to a lot of people, but it makes sense. But in my silly brain, it makes sense. As silly as that sounds. Okay, so... we Alright. his head. Now start to piss me off. There we go. Alright, down we go. Before we grab anything, let's take a look at what the damage is. reset. We should be able to reset this puzzle by doing that. Or not. Uh, 
we're only gonna get to the one the one box so yeah there's a right way to do it and a wrong way i clearly did it the wrong way uh, ish but we can recover See, that's how you can recover. The, the easier thing that I probably should have done was probably grab the shield first, and then I wouldn't have to have worried about placing the box at all. Again, it's something to consider, but it's not 100% necess not necessary. chest Tarask tusk cool it's kind of funny um one of the dungeons that has a little bit more chests than some of the others it feels like anyway but in its own way it's not but back up. Again, I believe I can reach that. I think. Go! What's more? Oh, you know what? I think I see it now. Huh? No, I don't. Go! Huh. I'd be wrong. Okay, one more shot, and if I can't get it, then that means we can't get it right now, pretty much. Or it's just a fucking fool's errand at this point. Huh? So... I gotta find a way to drop down from this guy. Jump. Nice landing. Huh? Huh? 
Oh yeah, there's no way to get up there right now. I'm not gonna worry about it at this moment. I think I'm gonna cry. There's no way in from that side. So okay, we can't get that item right now. So let's move on. You notice there are chests that we missed because we just don't have the means to get them. We will be able to get them later. There are ways to get, or rather, I should rephrase, there are ways to get them later, we're just not gonna worry about them right now. And for anybody worried or concerned, yes, we can turn off, you know, the counters and blah, 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 blah. Uh, Thank you for treating my injuries. <clears throat> I did. Um, where are we going to? Here. What is this place? This is an old battle site. I want you to pray for the lives that were lost and release the souls of the earthbound dead. You can do that, can't you, Paladin? Let us recite holy verses and release the whispers of lament. I pray that you look to the warm feelings in your heart and find peaceful repose. And someday you shall find your way to the Garden of Tol Toldoka. Sure, why not? Your thoughts and emotions are flowing over me. There's so much sadness. For freeing the spirits of the earthbound dead and ending their suffering, you have my gratitude. This very day long ago, countless innocents lost their lives in the blink of an eye. It wasn't just here either. All throughout Philgaia, people were ta taking the lives of others. War. I'm sorry to put you through this, but I couldn't free them myself. I too was an accomplice to the war. My presence would only serve to frighten them. I want to eliminate war from this world. That is my one and only wish. And for $50. <laughs> Let's keep moving.
Nice. Nice, 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 nice. nice. Badges we picked up. Protects from stone. Grants immunity to from fatal attacks. Very good item. Accelerator! Fool not to have it. Nice landing. What's more? Who? What's more? Okay. Get ready. I'm so glad you're okay. Jude! You saved Yuli, didn't you? Thanks. This is the second time that you've helped us out. Dun dun dun! Why does this happen when I touch him? Sights I've never seen before enter my head. Wait, I do know this place. It's a McDonald's. Codes. What the hell? Make sure we can go over here. You can, it's it's literally everybody from CL. I'm not gonna read all of this, but it's just you know. All the people that used to live in CL. Oh, let's see. And they're all wearing lab coats. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> we can live peacefully within this shelter. Although everyone has got their concerns, my companions are adjusting to their new lives here. I cannot help thinking, is this really what we ought to be doing? Our heretical technology hurt the world, but I have faith that it can become a force to heal those some same wounds. For arms were originally a means to heal and restore the world's ruined environment. But all we do is lament our sin, rather than use the power that we still have. We have the knowledge to save everyone, yet we do nothing. Is that not a sin as well? I shall leave CL Shelter. If the Global Union can only think of arms as weapons, I shall defect to the Congressional Knights. And this time I will complete the development of arms so that they can be used for their original objective, the restoration of the planet's environment. I'm sure there will be those who condemn my actions, and I'm sure I shall stain my hands anew. But with the future of the world at stake, those are trivial concerns. Even if it costs me my life, I shall become a force to open up the future. I've never seen this person before, but I can feel how strong his feelings are. He really cares deeply about the future of the world. 
We know who that is. That's Angst. The guy with the terrible jokes. Working for Brianak. The plot thickens. It's not improving, but the plot thickens. <laughs> I'm such a bastard. Are these his memories? If so, how does he know about CL? The same thing happened the last time. Just who are you? Remember how I had told you that I had been searching for someone and that he was the one that I was looking for? Well, his name is Hauser Blackwell. He was a celebrated hero during the war, but now that it's over, he's wanted as a war criminal. He's the Black Reaper. The Grim Reaper's on vacation. <laughs> Jude, get out of the way. I'm taking him in. And one more thing. You'll be coming with me. You, Leah Trady. The Brionac forces will be taking you into custody. Gone? What is wrong with you? You're like a totally different person! Yes, I suppose so. Today I'm acting in my... capacity as a member of the elite Brionac forces. As Gone Braudia. You deceived us? All this time? You were lying? Uh, no, it's not like that. Believe me, I really did like all of you kids. And that's the honest truth. But... Well, I guess... It doesn't matter what I say at this point, does it? If that's how you feel... Then surely you can understand our position. Yuli is a very good friend of ours. We're not about to just hand her over. I wouldn't expect any less from you kids. But I'm an adult, and I've got a job to do. There's no way I can just back away. All that just to take on a couple of kids? <laughs> Some adult you are. Do you see these soldiers and weapons? Not to mention myself as well. We've assembled this entire force just to take you out. So don't even think that you have a chance of escaping. That kind of power is what scorched the planet. You continue to feed the flames of war with your arrogance. Why the hell can't you see that? <laughs> no, please don't! <laughs> He's got an alien weapon. Uh, kind of reminds me of Trigon a little bit. No, don't <laughs> the way the weapon is. frustration take over. You know that's not what you really want. go with you and I won't resist so please please don't do anything that might end up hurting someone Miss Yuli Yuli there's no other way Jude we can't avoid all these guns and escape and besides I swore to myself that I'd stop running away that I'd fight my own fight but Yuli! And Kresnik will be there too. I'm sure that... I'm sure he'll watch over me. That's why... But... Yuli... But 
you're shaking. Please don't worry, Jude. If we part ways with a smile, I'm sure we'll meet again someday. May the blessings of Saint Calusian be with you always. Calculon? All my parts. <laughs> I thought, I thought that, I had hoped that you would be different. Well, kid, what you see is what you get with me. How you feel about it is up to you. You need to grow up, Arno. Yeah? Don't worry. I'd sooner die than grow up to be anything like you. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, isn't it, kid? <clears throat> Chain smoking jack fuck. <laughs> yeah. I like going there. He's a right. character. What is that supposed to mean? I don't speak Greek. <laughs> I don't know if that's even that. All right, so we're kind of left to our own devices. Let's go back to Buckeye Station. <clears throat> it's really the only safe place that we can travel. Hmm. Now what the heck does that mean? What does what mean? When she left, Yuli whispered something like, May the blessings of Saint Calusian be with you. It probably means goodbye. What? I've heard of people wishing for someone's happiness when they say goodbye, but... <clears throat> Maybe that's true, and you could probably take it that way, but... What are you trying to say? Well, why didn't she actually say goodbye, then? Well, how should I know? She didn't want to go. Not really. Well, yeah, probably not. That's precisely why she couldn't bring herself to out and out say goodbye. Let's go rescue her. Let's go rescue you, rescue Yuli. Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where they took her. Yeah, maybe so, but... I don't know for certain where they've taken her, but I just might have an idea. Your mother and the others were taken away, and so was Yuli. The one thing that connects those two events is a hideout. It's probably somewhere nearby. If we ask around town, if we can just get some information, anything at all, that would be a lot more effective than just searching randomly. Of course, it'd be very dangerous, too. Thanks, I knew you were worried about Yuli, too, Arnaud. It's more like I can't stand to watch a kid run around like a chicken with his head cut off. <laughs> huh? But that's not all. Gon pulled a fast one on us, and I'm not going to let him get away with it. Wow. What? Oh, it's just, well, you sounded a bit out of character just now. Time to go run around to ask around town. We're going to rescue Yuli, Mom, and everyone else, no matter what. Well, there you go. <clears throat> so, Jump. let's go ahead and snoop around town a, a wee bit. Once you pass through the ruins of the Basker village to the west, you, all you'll see is an expansive wasteland of the dunes. Lately, there have been rumors of a suspicious shadow appearing out there, but you'd have to go beyond the village to find the truth. No one in this town has been able to confirm any of this information, though. Well, thanks. I guess. Okay, yeah, that's all he's gonna say. Alright, let's go back this way.
Unless your dunes are dangerous, the sands are so fine that you, if you don't move carefully, they'll swallow you or your whole body. Okay. Before we do anything else... The mysterious shadow that appeared in the western dunes belongs to an Alstro, uh -huh, Alstro Ameria class ship. One of the main ships used during the war. That's the one, same class ship as I was on, the Guerra de Leon. Is someone out there trying to plant the seeds of war once more? Mm. Suspicious sand ship in the western dunes beyond the ruins of the village? That's gotta be Brianax base. We have to hurry. We're going to rescue Yuli. <clears throat> All right. Well, at least we now know where to go. Again, if you don't talk to these people in that particular order, give or take, you're kind of left to your own devices until you do. Well, okay. Yeah. You. You. In order to progress, you kind of have to do that. Um, I think we're good on equipment. Um, and we're going into a really, really rough dungeon. So, if there's any gearing up that needs to be done, this is our real last chance to do it. Um... I think we're good, to be honest with you guys. Um... Can we get them to the fifth... Yeah. Um... I don't care about sleep that much. High Blast is pretty important, but we can go, I think, without it a little while longer. Technically, though, we will be okay to do it soon, I think. <clears throat> Take the, the class level ups, but we might reverse it for Arnaud to try to pick up High Blast. Because that would be really, really nice. Let's see if we can actually reach it. I mean, we can. High Blast is really good. So we will stay with High Blast. This will increase his damage from 400 to, as you guys saw, you know, whopping 720. So a little, not quite double the damage, but definitely better in general. Um, which is why that's worth doing. Um... We'll get him the CL V5, you know, class level 5 later. I'm not worried about it right now. I'm really not. Um, mainly because that will be the next focus for us to do. You know, and all that jazz. And there's a new location. Very nice. Very, very nice. Two locations. Clearly. So let's go ahead and head to the abandoned village. I know this episode might go a hair longer, but that's because I want to actually get to um, somewhere in the middle of this dungeon here. Just as a heads up. Beside Gare de Leon Onyx room. It's good to see that you've returned safely. We must congratulate you on your splendid performance. First, the completion of the Divine Weapons Excavation, and now this. All this good news is quite welcome. You secured Yulia Tride and brought us the heretical engineers, the nanotechnology authorities who were involved in arms research. On top of that, you even recaptured the fugitive war criminal, the Black Reaper. Were these all the results of a future that you had foreseen? No, it was nothing like that. The future I saw was obscured by unknown factors. We had been proceeding on multiple fronts for quite some time, and synchronization of the schedules was nothing more than a coincidence. In this course, in the course of securing the test subject for case number 354, I lost many Brianac lieutenants. The results are not worthy of commendation. The completion of this of the mission is paramount. It doesn't matter how many lieutenants die, their loss will not affect Valgaia's future. Lambda didn't seem pleased by that. What became of the Black Reaper of Hauser Blackwell? Gone Broadia captured Hauser and is cur currently escorting him to Illsville Prison. After Hauser has been interned, after Hauser has been interned, he will rejoin Brianak and operate in conjunction with us. Gone Broadia, the man that they call the Twin Gunner, the pride of the Congressional Knights, 
and a warrior capable of facing off with Hauser of the global, global Union. Not to mention your best friend as well, if I'm not mistaken. He's also Brian Axel, 11th Lieutenant, and my trump card. Hmm. Thanks to your work, the project can proceed to the next stage. Our plan to make the world eternal, the future conception project, will now commence. Lambda, we will be expecting even greater dedication from you henceforth. Yes, sir. If it is for the sake of Felgaia's future. <laughs> yes, we know we can count on you. So we shall share with you the entirety of this project for the sake of a better future. Don't like the sound of that, personally. Just saying. Famous last words, don't step in bullshit. Alright, and we're on the move. We are heading to the north. Here, that. Sorry about that. There was somebody at my door. Right, let's keep moving. As we have new enemies. Ow! 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 Phantom line. Take this. Maybe I'll give that a try. And as you can see, here's high blast. Moves him from the fight. Allow me. You think you can stop me? And I bet I was walking. And that's fine. We don't care about that too much. Now, you might think this is a great time for us to level. Well, without Yuli, there's not much of a reason to warrant grinding levels, even if we could. Um, so we're going to avoid that. I would say we should avoid that for now, personally. We're pretty high in level, so it's not like we're hurting for anything, per se. Being as high leveled as we are. So yeah, I, I just it's just a personal, you know, reference or a bit of suggestion that there's no point in burning through things unnecessarily. I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna kill either of these, huh? Unless do that. Oh, I didn't kill it. I'm over we lost here. experience. Oh god. Why is that a thing? Time to cut loose. I'd rather get the gemstone. Let's get our experience back, maybe? <laughs> Probably not. And hey, we get a night badge. Yay. Really? Oh, yeah, so it reset Jude's level. Yeah, you don't want to level here. That alone is a reason not to level when you have enemies like that, meaning we will be gunning for those enemies out the gate. Because fuck that. According to the records from the Artificial Evolution Research Facility, Yudia Tree Day is classified as a Category B plus driver. B plus is not a rank, but rather indicates the vector of her arm compatibility. Although she lacks the ability to utilize weaponized arms, she displays very high capability in their calibration and activation. This is the reason why we refer to Yulia Tride as the key. And what she unlocks is the Divine Weapon. The Divine Weapon has deve was developed by the Global Union. It's basically an egg which is made up of microscopic machines whose purpose is to repair the planet's environment. Yulia Tride will incubate it until it is ready to hatch. The arm born from this egg will give us all the time we need, and with it, a future. The divine weapon will not restore the world, for how world, however, for that alone won't create a future. It was not only the environment that was ruined and lost, 
What must truly be restored is authority and leadership. The world needs qualified leaders to guide it towards toward a proper future. And we, the High Council, are the only ones qualified for that task. But we have grown far too old. The sputtering flames of our lives only linger on because of this armor. They not only support our body bodily functions, but block all interference from others, including your ability to see into the future. <clears throat> Yet soon, even these sputtering flames supported by the armor of leadership will finally fade. <clears throat> if that happens, we will be unable to lead the world into the future. Having told you this much, I'm sure you can figure out the rest. That's right. The divine weapon will be used to restore our very bodies. Both our bodies and this world are on the verge of succumbing to the hay flick limit. Using the environmental repair functionality, we shall repair the telomere sequences inside our cells so that eternal life shall be ours. We were initially concerned that our bodies would have an autoimmune reaction to the divine weapon, but we were able to find a solution. By severing the frontal lobe, the portion that controls the thoughts from Yulia Tride's brain, this will allow us to control her category B plus drive compatibility through a terminal. And as our bodies have reached their limits, we shall use arms to repair them and maintain them as needed indefinitely. We shall obtain an eternal life. The people and the world shall live in happiness, guided by leaders with absolute authority and immortal bodies. That is the future conception project, the plan that will conceive and give birth to a new future. The excavation of the divine weapon is complete. We have secured the girl who is the key, and the researchers are here as well. Our aged and damaged flesh shall not be only be repaired, but, shall, but subliminated into eternal life. A future governed by those who are immortal and is absolutely essential for this world. Lambda, you shall bear witness to the moment in which eternity leaves the realm of fantasy and becomes reality. <laughs> well, these guys don't sound like they're on the up and up with us, do they? Hmm. go over here make a save and you bet your bottom we're gonna break this seal because we don't want to fight random battles here like I said there's we're almost through this area so it'd be in our best interest not to fight battles I can do it. can't really reach anybody or anything Kill anybody either. Ooh. Let's be clever. Let's try to get him away from damage, but not a guarantee. Safe, so I don't care if our nod gets no XP for this fight, that's not important. Making sure we keep all of our options of survival open. Think you can take me on? Save, now that that's taken care of. Accelerate. Like I said, we'll turn encounters off. Just because it's one less thing we gotta deal with.
Yep. Definitely want to make sure we grab that. Accelerator! I want to resave just because. It's like I said, guys, this episode will be a little bit on the longer side just because I want to get to the next area here. And the enemies are not worth, again, are not worth fighting here. <clears throat> That's the entirety of the future conception project. Do the distinguished members of the High Council intend to become gods? We shall become one with the world and live forever. In doing so, we shall build the future. In a way, yes, we will be as gods. Even if the gods did create the world, they did not weave the they did not weave the future. It must be the hand of a man that spins the wheel of fate. Moreover, your plan opposes the very idea of representative democracy for which the Congressional Knights stand. It's no different from the tyranny of the Global Union. Over the course of the long and terrible war, we finally realized the truth. Government is not something that the public can handle. When the war ex ended just over 10 years ago, we had we had high expectations for an enlightened form of government. But instead, the democratic government of the people quickly fell into a deadlock and collapsed. The public, too, desires a society administrated by gifted leaders. I'm sure you understand Lambda Zellweger. Zelve no, I do not. We, Brianak, performed our duty so that we could revive a government of the people in this world once more. And we held our resolve for this ideal, even in the face of, condemn of condemnation. Captain of the Brianak forces are not take heed in how you address us. Scythe, Belail, Hugo, Fiore, and Az Asia, and Anil, a Fiore and Asia, Anil, and Balgain. They gave their very lives for my belief in the restoration of democracy in the post-war future, yet to you, they were nothing more than tools to be used and discarded, if they had known it was for the sake of this ludicrous objective. Lambda Zellweger, you have heard enough. So be it then. I hereby place your authority as captain of the Brianak forces on indefinite suspension. All Brianak operations shall be postponed until further notice. In light of your past achievements, that will be the extent of your punishment. But you'd best learn your place, young one. The ideals for which you strive are admirable, but unattainable ideals are nothing more than fantasies. You must become an adult like us, Lambda Zellweger. They're all children? To realize your ideal, mankind as a whole would have to mature, to evolve, even. Do you intend to somehow accelerate the evolution of the entire human race? If it is necessary for the future of the world, then so be it would appear that they have a mild disagreement with each other in the handlings of of uh, the future of Felgaia, it would seem. And again, there's some weird play in there. Like, like Lambda was going to convince these guys otherwise. I believe there's a red chest there. Um, I doubt it. Could be over here, too, I forget. Alright, but we're moving on. Because, yeah, we're hitting the one hour mark, pretty much. And I think there's just a hint of story and a save point beyond here. Got a de Leon. Okay. All of our efforts for the sake of an absurd plan such as that? It comes as no surprise considering those dirty old geezers. <laughs> <coughs> and to think that I didn't realize I was placing Yuli's life in danger. Captain Lambda, will you petition the High Council to halt the future conception project? That's what I intend to do. 
After all, tyrannical rule by a select few was not the reason why I chose to leave Brianak. However, right now, my authority is under suspension until it's lifted. You're telling me to wait until then? What guarantees are there for Yuli's safety in the meantime? None at all! I'm sorry, sir. What do you intend to do? Well, I'm going to do something. I don't know what it is that I should do, but... If I don't do anything at all, my sister's life may be in danger. Captain, what do you intend to do in order to stop this project? If I am powerless as Captain Abrianek, then I will strive for my ideals as plain old Lambda Zellweger. Probably a Zellweger or Zellweger, but whatever. It's one of those th three ways to say it, I guess. Then I too shall go back to plain old Kresnik Atride. Hmm. We made it this far. But can we actually get inside? Don't worry about that. There's more to me than just my charm and my Is good this a looks. glitch? <sighs> Putting aside our nose. Overinflated ego. We're all set to go. Well then, let's get this party started. <gasps> <coughs> Are you crazy? If you don't keep it down, they'll catch us! Uh, yeah, that's it exactly! What? <clears throat> okay, let's try that again. <gasps> the prisoners have escaped! What are you doing, Arno? Hey kid, relax. This is all part of my plan, you'll see. Watch. hear the word escape and then all hell starts to break loose they're so predictable never in a million years would they imagine that someone's about to break in oh no you are a master trickster and master I bullshit I'll take that as a compliment Jude Raquel let's do it A glitch. I remember when I first played this, I thought the game was so poorly made, it like glitched out. Still a little silly though to show them that way in a in a in a, in a way. Infiltration successful. Looks like everything's going pretty smoothly so far. Yeah, so far. Well, what's next? We're inside the enemy's headquarters. We can't do anything that would draw attention. In other words, your signature move of rushing in won't work here, Jude. What's that supposed to mean? Let's slip past the guards and quickly find Yuli. Arnaud, while we're doing that, I'd like you to think of a way to get us out of here. But what's that supposed to mean? I figure you probably haven't thought beyond getting us in here. Yeah, Arnaud's signature move always seems to be always seems to lack something. Alright, so we made it inside Guerra de Leon. Let's go ahead and make a save. And we can't break the, uh, or purify the, uh, save point. So, with that said, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Jackstar Studios for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, we try to save Yuli. Anyway, we'll see you guys.